How to do a survey job with EasyTag C. Start EasyTag C. According to your configurations, you may be asked to log in. The following needs to be performed outside so the GNSS receiver can track satellites. From the File menu, click on Connect. Once connected, the status bar will be displayed. It shows the number of satellites, the DUP value according to the type of DUP configured, the circular accuracy, and the GNSS status. GNSS means autonomous. SBAS, WAS, DGNSS, or RTK means that the position received a correction. If you do not get a connection, review your EasyTag C configurations or your Windows or Windows Mobile settings. Refer to the video how to configure EasyTag. Once connected to the satellites, you can start a job with File Start Survey. When a survey is started, the GNSS Feature toolbar is displayed. The first icon gives access to the Data Dictionary, the list of features available for GPSing. I will use the default Data Dictionary. To create your own Data Dictionary, watch the video How to Create a Dictionary. From the default Data Dictionary, we can select a Point Average feature. The Point Average feature is selected, so I can start GPSing it with the Tag icon. When I click on the tag, I am prompt in the Point Average attributes. My Point Average is in progress. I can navigate through the attributes with the arrows or the drop-down menu. You can also review the very first attribute, which is the position. A position can be retaken, edited, or offset. Once the data collection is completed, press OK to save the attributes. The point average feature will then be displayed in the plan view. To GPS another average point, simply click on the tag icon. To GPS a different feature, select the feature with the first icon. Once selected, you can start GPSing it with the tag icon. Enter its attributes and click OK to save the attributes and to display the point. If you created a custom data dictionary that includes the tag sheet display, the following example shows how to navigate in your feature attributes. From my custom dictionary, I select a poll feature and I start GPSing it with the tag icon. I am prompt in the poll attributes. If a row is red, it means the attribute is required, otherwise the feature cannot be saved. Double click on the value field to complete an attribute. If needed, the form will adjust automatically according to your answers. A side arrow at the end of the value field means a different page will pop when you will double-click on the field, so the attribute can be entered. Once done, you can return to the tag sheet by clicking on the tag sheet icon. From the tag sheet, you can also review the feature position with the position icon. A position can be retaken, edited, or offset. It. From the Feature Position page, you can return to the Tag Sheet by clicking on the Tag Sheet icon. Once the Tag Sheet is completed for your feature, press OK to save it. To GPS a line or a polygon, a polygon is simply a line that closes on its first point. Start the line with the Tag icon. The very first attribute is the line first vertex. A line can be offset. When all attributes are entered for the line, click OK. My line is a continuous line, meaning a point is added into it every few seconds or few meters. When doing a line or polygon, you have access to the open polyline icon and the Add Vertex icon.
the open polyline icon allows to close the line, to pause or resume it, to switch to discrete, meaning that rather to continuously add points vertices into the line, a vertex will be added into it when you will decide to add one. With the open polyline icon, you can access the line properties, its attributes. Auto vertex allows to automatically add vertices into a continuous line according to specific time or distance rate. You can select a specific point feature to use as a line vertex. Some people call that nesting a feature into a line. If I want to nest a point average into the line, select the vertex point average. When ready to GPS the nested point average, click on the add vertex icon. I am now nesting a point average into my line. My line is paused and it will resume when I will click OK after entering the attributes. Once my line is completed, I can close it. I can close the line using a point average vertex or using a sample vertex without attributes. When you close your feature, you are back into its attributes for review. Click OK when done. My line is no longer under construction, so it became black. During a survey job, you may get some quality alarms. The reason of the alarm will be highlighted in the GNSS status bar. So a quick look at the status bar will tell you what the alarm is for. Quality alarms can be configured with file preferences. You can display or hide the status bar with the information icon. Once finished recording all features into your survey job, Stop the survey job with File, Stop Survey. Once the survey is stopped, make sure to copy the entire survey folder to your computer in order to export it to a GIS format or to post-process it. To make sure all the files are copied properly, you should use Mobile File Manager available under Unpause Tools to download your field data into your office computer. You can set the download folder with set option available in Mobile File Manager. If you need help to use Unpause software, watch our videos, visit our knowledge base or contact us by email.